Is there any spirit? Because oh my god! Fucking hell! I don't know, something fell! On tonight's investigation, we captured an insane amount of paranormal evidence. Oh my god, something touched me, seriously. It felt like like this, oh. like twice the thing. Felt, felt tapping? Yeah, but it was like in the middle, like where my spine is. Whoa! Oh! Burn, forgive my sins. We kept hearing knocks, bangs, and strange noises. But something that shook us to the core was the disembodied voices and whispers we heard with our own ears. All caught on camera. I feel like someone's behind me. I'm scared. What's that? What's that? Who's speaking? And something fell like a throne that nearly hit me. Oh my god, that scared me. Something fell from there, but like it was loud. Like it was like big. I ended up doing a alone challenge handcuffed at the most haunted floor with an entity that scratches people. She's not handcuffed. Really well. Will it hurt me? Scratches is the worst thing I've heard. This is by far one of the most haunted locations I have ever investigated. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know it's been a minute. I've been very busy traveling and the mental health stuff and everything. I've been all over the place, but finally there is so many awesome investigations coming out. You guys are not ready. Oh my gosh, these are so far the best videos that I ever uploaded on this channel, including tonight's episode. So, tonight's investigation, that was crazy. This has to be one of the most haunted locations I have ever investigated. I feel like the activity already started before we started investigating. We literally walked in, started setting our equipment and all that stuff, and then this happened. Okay, so we keep hearing stuff all the time and now the light is on. What the? We kept hearing stuff here. Like clicks. I think they came from here. And we were actually taking pol Polaroids and we heard something fall from up there. We think it might be just, um, just like natural, like nothing paranormal, but I don't know. But definitely we keep hearing like stuff like from this area. I don't know if if it's from here or like yeah we were sitting over there and uh, just heard stuff in this area yeah the door just closed a little bit i don't know if it's anything i just enjoyed my pizza i think it's normal i don't know it just moved by itself ghost close the door i don't know because there's a fan blowing this way and the door went that way. Yeah. So that was weird. It should open, not close. The only thing I can think of is possible suction effect from the front door. True. It's the only thing I think of. Well, it's still weird because the air it blows pretty hard. So yeah, there you go. I don't know if it was anything or if it was just natural like suction effect or something, but definitely interesting start for the evening. Also, one thing I want to mention, I've been a little sick for a while now and um, I needed to get this video out. So <clears throat> the voiceovers are recorded when my voice was still not completely okay. So if I sound a little weird, that's why. But anyways, without further ado, let's get to the video. The Old Washoe Club, also known as the Millionaire's Club, located on the side of a mountain right on the center of Virginia City, Nevada, was an exclusive club for the rich to gather in the late 1800s. Washoe Club was founded in 1861, and in 1875, the first Washoe Club opened its doors on C Street, but only a few months later, a massive fire destroyed most of Virginia City, the club included. But as local mines still turned profits, Virginia City was rebuilt quickly. Washoe Club needed a new place to reopen the business, and in 1876, the Washoe Club was re-established on the floors above a popular tavern on B Street. The Washoe Club quickly became one of the most exclusive social clubs in the region. There was only one way to join this club. 
you needed to be rich. The exclusive club was mainly for elite businessmen, influential gentlemen, and rich miners, and had a secret access through a spiral staircase, which is now considered one of the most haunted parts of the Washoe Club. Over the years, the old Washoe Club offered different kinds of services. The second and third floor had a ballroom, poker room, and few rooms for their in-house prostitutes or ladies of the night to stay full-time while working as a perk pleasure for the club's members. No one knows if these women were ever paid anything, or did they just work for a room and a roof over their head? Virginia City and the Washoe Club had a lot of tragic events, some leading to death, murders, shootings, and stabbings. Unfortunately, back in the 1800s, a lot of these were undocumented. Also, mining accidents were common and left dozens of men buried in the tunnels, and visitors still hear their voices and pleads for help, and sense their spirits are still around. It is easy to believe that the victims of these tragedies and their souls were left behind, making not only the old Washoe Club, but also the whole town extremely haunted. Old Washoe Club has a lot of sightings of spirits, and the paranormal activity shows itself in many forms. There are few spirits that show their presence most often. Lady in Blue has been captured in photos a lot. Her name is Lena, and she worked as a prostitute at the club. Her life ended violently within these walls. A lot of people have captured a photo of her as a full body apparition, wearing a blue dress, and sometimes she appears as a blue mist. Most of the visitors feel her presence as random cold spots and sudden drops in temperature. She has been seen at the top of the spiral staircase most commonly, like she is waiting for someone. Also, a little child spirit has been seen at the spiral staircase and people have reported being touched by a curious child or children while standing on the spiral staircase. A young girl named Elizabeth died here in the late 1800s and she is said to haunt the basement. Occasionally, she goes upstairs and she is heard giggling and sometimes she is heard and seen playing with a ball. There is a story of how this little girl and possibly multiple other children lost their lives in the basement that I am not comfortable sharing. Visitors feel nauseous and sadness around her, probably feeling her pain. In 1982, Washoe Club's bartender and a resident, Scotty, lost his son when he was playing with his friend and running in the old mining area. The boys fell down a 1,200-foot drop into an abandoned mine shaft and died instantly. Scotty couldn't handle the grief and ended up committing a suicide by a gunshot in one of the rooms on the third floor. It is said that he likes to stand at the top of the stairs and look around. There's also a couple of photos that were captured of him peeking around the corner. Some people say that Scotty is a negative and angry spirit who scratches people, but others believe the negative and violent spirit is someone or something else. Many EVPs suggest that the spirits who once had exclusive access to this building and the pleasures it has to offer and still comes back till this day. It looks like they are possessive of their space, where they had exclusive access to gamble and to experience sensual pleasures. They are most likely angry for their privacy being disturbed by people who don't belong there. The third floor has a room called the Red Room, where visitors have reported being grabbed or even scratched by unknown entity. The door has also slammed shut from some unseen force inside the room. <laughs> In the winter months, when the ground was too cold to dig graves and bury the deceased, they used the building to store dead bodies in the back room until spring. For this reason, the room earned the nickname, the Crypt. 
The crypt is also one of the most haunted spots in the building. Voices can be heard, and spiritual orbs appear in photographs. My husband also has a terrifying personal experience in the crypt that he will share with you guys later in this video. Could it be that the souls of hundreds of bodies that were held here are still around, maybe stuck, and do anything to get your attention? After the mining profits declined over the years, the club kept losing its members and it eventually opened doors to everyone, bringing this upscale club into the world of everyday citizen. Over the years, the second and third floors had different purposes. The former ballroom was once a doctor's office, where multiple patients have died, including a 10-year-old girl who'd been struck by a carriage in the street below. On the third floor, two people died in an accidental dynamite blast from next door. It is unknown if these spirits still haunt the old Washo club, but one thing is sure. There are endless reports of multiple different spirits haunting the building. It is unknown how many spirits actually haunt the old Washo club. Miners, children, former club members, angry and restless spirits, some more malicious than others. Because of all this activity and the amount of spirits, Old Washo Club is an incredibly well-documented paranormal location. Footsteps, disembodied voices, shadow figures, full-body apparitions, EVPs, and even violent attacks where people got scratched and pushed. The Old Washo Club has a lot of poltergeist activity, and it is really common to see items move on their own. Tonight, we wanted answers and to capture paranormal activity on camera. We wanted to understand who still haunts the building and why. Matt has been investigating this location before, and he has a personal experience that he would like to share with you guys. The Old Washoe Club. The Old Washoe Club is where everything started for me. During the summer of 2011, I heard the building was haunted. And so I decided to go in the building and I found the museum area, then soon went to the crypt. In the crypt, I started asking questions. I pulled out my cell phone, tried to do EVP sessions because I've seen this stuff on TV and was interested to see if I could also get some EVPs. And then while I was asking questions, I asked one very specific question. If there's a little girl here, can you please move something or make some kind of noise? And then literally seconds later, a piece of brick is thrown. That moment is when I decided to become an investigator. This actual piece of brick that I still have with me right now. This piece of brick was there. If there's a little girl here, please move something, touch me. Do uh, Make some kind of noise, make a tapping noise. Watch Show Club, I've investigated multiple times after this experience. I've had uh, a very crazy experience where I actually heard the clearest footsteps I've ever heard in my life when I was with Dante Reader, uh, someone I was investigating with, with Soul Seekers at the time. And there was clear as day boot footsteps. So we actually ran upstairs to go figure out if this was an actual person because that's what we actually thought. It was a real person because of how clear it was. And sure enough, no one was up there. We were the only ones in the Old Watch Show Club at that point. We also had uh, weird occurrences of voices, female and male voices being heard. Um, is very weird. And we don't know 100% if that's from outside, but we have heard that many times in this location. Also, this one time when we were in the museum area, we actually smelt perfume which was weird because it was only two of us and we're both guys that don't wear perfume. And then uh, all of a sudden we just got out with this whiff of perfume out of nowhere, kind of like this residual smell or something like that. And we could not find a source to that smell. It was in the middle of the room and right next to the stairs, staircase, and just smelled perfume. Very strange, residual stuff. That's crazy. It is very important to remember what happened to Matt in the crypt because it will be relevant to what happened to me when I was alone in the crypt. 
I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I didn't know anything about the location, anything about the history or the hauntings. Matt gave me very little information. After everything that happened tonight and after researching the history... Yes. It all makes sense now. And it makes sense why I was so scared the whole investigation and I was on edge the whole time. And um, now I understand why. Maybe it's a good thing. I didn't know anything. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. More insane investigations are coming almost weekly. Also, huge shout out to all my channel members. Your support means the world to me. And also, shout out to everyone in chat right now. Yes, I premiere all my episodes. So, hi premiere chat. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Please, everyone in chat, drop a ghost emoji right now. Drop it. Or if you're watching this after the premiere, Drop a ghost emoji in the comment section. This is by far one of the scariest investigations I have ever done. One even close to the feeling what I was feeling was in the old abandoned house back here in Finland. So we call the house the demon house because there's allegedly three demons in there. So I don't know what is in here. Is it demonic or is it just negative? But Old Washo Club gave me the same fear and I just can't describe it. Because I didn't know much anything about the history and the hauntings, I struggled asking questions. We didn't have much equipment with us, um, so almost everything we experienced tonight happened right before our eyes. And we kept hearing a lot of stuff and it was captured on camera. This is a crazy one. This is literally one of my best videos I've ever done. So please consider liking the video if you enjoyed so far. And um, yeah, this is a night I will never forget. There's a mummified cat. Babe, I look buffer then. Hmm? I look bigger then. Arms bigger. Hi, babe. <laughs> Close. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Recording. Yes, babe. You can see shit. This is so creepy. This is like the back entrance. This is so sketchy. What was that? That was the uh, thing flipping there. It's the dead bird. Aww. Oh. Little dead bird. Just filming dead birds. Let's go inside, babe. This is your first time. Yeah, this is my first time. Club. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's so dark. Hello there. Oh my gosh. It's so dark in here. I can see anything without the night vision. Look at you. <laughs> Anybody in here? Documentary? Yeah. It's over here. Oh my it's god. The ballroom, really what was that? Did you knock on something? I thought I heard something. 
building, but maybe it was nothing. This is a very old building, so. Make a loud noise. Creeped out. <laughs> you sure you want to be in here alone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna do a long challenge. Handcuffed. Like seriously, like if I didn't have the night vision on, it would be like dark. Yep, it would be. I can't see anything. This is like literally what I see. And then this is what you see. <laughs> Anybody here? Can you speak to us? My fiance and I came a long way to talk to you. It's so creepy because I can't see anything without the that night vision. vision, yeah. Is Mark and Debbie Constantino? I feel like someone's behind me. I'm scared. You hear that? What is that? I thought I heard uh, footsteps. I heard footsteps earlier, but then I thought it was you. Oh, oh my god, that. babe. No. <laughs> I'm scared. There was knocking. Uh, I don't know how the hell I ever survived here alone. I don't know. I didn't like actually hear it, but the, like there was like voice in my head said that you're not gonna be alone. <laughs> like okay. I heard something. I didn't hear it. Like, basically, I get this sometimes. I don't know what it is, but I randomly get this. That's downstairs. Fuck, that's loud. Oh, they're leaving. Oh. We're about to be alone. Okay, so we're officially alone now. Yeah. Officially alone, babe. It's just you and I. It's you and I. True paranormal investigating right here. Just the two of us. It's scarier when there's less people. Mm -hmm. Can you show yourself at the top of the hallway up there? On the top of the stairs? Noises. Me too, but I'm like, are they people? I think they came from here. I have no idea. I don't know either. You want to throw something? up there? Yeah. I hate being the last one, but I don't want to be the first one either. 
little scared. I haven't felt like this in a long time. My best investigation. Hello. <laughs> it feels so much heavier here. It's so much harder to breathe. Can you say something to us? That's oh. my Mark and Debbie Constantino still haunting this place. What's that? What's that? Who's speaking? I walk like this because <laughs> I feel a little Is Debbie Constantino here? So there was also another more recent tragedy related to the old Washoe Club. Even though it didn't happen within the walls, but it is forever written in the history. So paranormal investigators and EVP specialists Mark and Debbie Constantino loved old Washoe Club and visited the place often. They were well known and loved in the paranormal community and appeared on Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures a few times. Unfortunately, a tragic incident happened in 2015 when Mark ended Debbie's life and after that, his own. The incident spurred mixed reactions from both family and friends, but also the paranormal community. My deepest condolences go to the family and friends and everyone who got affected by this. First, I wasn't planning on talking about this because I didn't know if it would cross a line or not. And I was planning on leaving out parts where we tried to contact and talk to Mark and Debbie. But after reviewing the footage and realizing what we captured, I decided to use this footage after all. We wanted to understand a little what happened and to see if they are at peace or if they still visit their favorite paranormal spot even in the afterlife. We did everything respectfully without provoking, and I'm pretty sure we were able to make contact with them. I am sorry if this offends anyone. That is not our purpose. I am not trying to get views and clicks with this, and for this reason I didn't include this in the beginning intro. There is a reoccurring pattern almost. Every time we mention their names, something would happen, and that keeps happening the entire investigation so i don't know did we contact them or not but please let me know what you think in the comments and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video you were a paranormal investigator so you want to talk to us help us give us some answers i know you love this place Oh, God. I felt like someone touched my back. I think I'm just freaking out. Maybe it was nothing. <laughs> huh. They blocked it off? What is this? Well, this is new. 
This is the bad room, though. Bad room? Yeah, the one with the bad person. No. Oh. That's a creepy ass door right there. Oh my. That is creepy. So we're not allowed to go in there? Guess not anymore. It's popped off. Different feel, huh? When you have the lights on it. Who's up here with us? I feel like something touched my chest. Oh my god. I felt like someone touched like my upper back. <laughs> that was a bug oh, oh my god, something touched me, seriously. It happened again. I just said like something touched, or you sit there like something. You know what it felt like? It felt like, 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 like this. Yeah. Like, oh, like twice. I just thing. saw. I just saw. Oh, you saw. It felt tapping. Yeah, I was like in the middle, like where my spine is. I felt like this. For me, it felt like a bug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On my chest. Oh my god. I felt it. Like chest hair. Chest hair. <laughs> Let you know. Yes, chest hair. Manly man. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like talking. It's just the forward. Yeah. I thought I heard someone. It's not like talking. Oh, I felt a touch again. What the fuck? Are you maybe touching her? Maybe it's just... Oh, there's a bug. Oh, maybe it's the tag. Like, there's the... The clothes come with the... Paper piece of the... This... You know, it could be that. Your, your uh, tag? Yeah. Okay. I hope it was just that. <laughs> Anybody here? Push the rocking chair. Mark or Debbie Constantino. I really like to speak to you guys because you guys are paranormal investigators. So you have an understanding of what we're trying to do. I don't know why Mark did what he did. You want to let me know? Oh wow. my god, what the fuck was that? I don't know. It's not like something was moving, like a like shaking. I don't know. There's just wind. This is like old building, so you don't really yeah. you know. You know. Buildings from the eighteen hundreds. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Did you hear that? The squeak? No, it was like something fell. I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? I was just hearing the squeak in my floorboard. No, it was like a bang. Like, I don't know how to explain that sound. That's right. Yeah. Like, I don't know where it came exactly, but... I didn't like that. <laughs> yes. This place is terrifying. <laughs> I heard the voice. Are you over here?
who's here with us. Can you push the dummy? Dummy, that's <laughs> push the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Hey, but wait. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. Where That's is locked. It? Oh. oh. Locked. <laughs> that looks too real. What if they moved? It's like there. Looks like his hand like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you molested me, babe. <laughs> oh no. Just walking around, or are we gonna do some investigating? Hello. Hello. Here, let me get the millimeter up. Just the rim. This antenna. Can you touch that? Maybe. <laughs> I'm just freaking out, babe. Don't worry about me. I'm very vocal when I get scared. It's okay, babe. I'm chill as a cucumber. <laughs> so, let's do this. Sit down and listen. Okay, that's the best thing to do. That was me. You touch the antenna right here. See this? You make it go off. Mm, got you. <laughs> um, just touch the antenna. Can you make a loud noise? Can you sit next to me? Can you knock back? Yeah, it sounds like a clock. Maybe I should put that somewhere up, like, further away from us. Okay. If it's too close. Oh my god. See that antenna right there? I left it in the middle of the floor. It has an orange light on it. Can you touch it? Dust orb. I really want to hear those clear as hell footsteps again. While well, being up here. Yeah. I swear, baby, it was so Who was caught walking this area? It was actually caught right there. Oh. That apparition walked right past. Okay. Nick was right there setting up something and then walked down there. Can you tell us your name? Who's the one that showed himself right over here? Is that you banging? If that was you making that banging noise, can you do that again? Is that you? 
Can you, you do that one more time, please? Can you knock three times? Three in a row. Can you knock like this? What if, um, maybe if you ask questions because you're a woman, maybe we'll open up to you. Yeah, I was actually, I was thinking about that. Yeah. I got the feeling it could be, I don't know. Did someone sit right there? Can you, uh... Is Markin or Debbie Constantino here? Speaking to this device in my left hand. Mark and Debbie. Okay. That was fine. Is that you? You guys are EVP specialists. Can you use this device in my left hand with a voice recorder in my left hand? thing with like old wood when temperature changes like yeah. it's hot earlier then when it gets cooler and cooler it's yeah those right. crack sounds so i'm not 100 that's why we are acting asking for intelligent responses so if it is that then keep doing it yeah mark and debbie you're the ones i really want to talk to really curious this is a place that you guys loved Same line of work. Oh shit. I don't know. This is still like the ups upstairs, upstairs. You want to get handcuffed up there, babe? Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to and I still want to, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> that freaks the. Like, I don't know. I mean, I should win on my fears, I guess. <laughs> Can I leave the camera up here? Yeah, we should do that. Point towards. That's actually good. Damn. I wish we had like a lot of cameras we could leave. Oh my god, it's that. It's the window. That fucking scared me. Babe, I know what it was. Whoa. Oh. Is that you? Can you 
touch that again? Do something. Oh my god. That was weird, yeah. Is that you? Can you touch that again? To confirm, it won't hurt you. It just lets us know you're here. Because we can't see you. What's weird about it is like... It's like I walked through something. <laughs> yeah. And then it stopped. <laughs> that was weird. Because... Because the brake, like, look how ha close my hand can be to the antenna. Look, that's how close you have to be. Yeah. My hands were down here. <laughs> yeah. That was it's, weird. It was the doorway, too. Yeah, it was the doorway. Like, it's someone was standing right there. There was something that was watching you, babe. Babe! <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm interested in you, babe. Do you like me? <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can talk to me. We can be friends. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> Ooh, I feel a cold breeze on my hand. Dang it. it was the window. Yeah. But like, ugh. it's just my, my hand. Put my camera down there, so. Okay. Don't hold it. Awesome. Let's hope it captures me. Maybe. This is where it all started for me, babe. Yep. Right here. That piece of brick was thrown. Here's a rock. A rock. A piece of brick. You wanna throw a rock at me so I can get the souvenir? <laughs> Same as mine. Where did you put the dowsing rods? Oh, somewhere over there. Them? Yeah. God damn it. Point this to the direction where you are standing right now. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna ask this. Are you sitting on a chair? Can you cross these rods for us if you're sitting on that chair? Recreate that moment back in the summer of 2011 when you threw a brick. Can you do that for me? I want to relive that moment. Is that person or spirit here with us tonight that threw something? You know how to explain that. That threw a piece of brick behind us. Back in 2011. Yeah, is that spirit here with us right now? Oh. I think that as a yes. Did you do that because you don't like Matt? Open the rods for no, if that's not the reason. Make them uh, point opposite directions. Okay. <laughs> and with the other one, my right hand. <laughs> it's actually your face. <laughs> Look at that mood because I was laughing. <laughs> Did you? Throw it because you wanted to get attention. I can't do English. Oh, I think that was because I was laughing. I'm gonna ask that again. Is that the reason? Because you wanted to get there for his attention? If 
you're here with us, can you make your presence known in a very definite way? Can you whisper something in my ear? Can you point these rods to where you are right now? Because I feel like they're sitting on my right side next to me. <laughs> are you sitting next to me? Can you point where you are? I think they're, I don't know, maybe they're sitting on that chair right there. Gosh, it's hard to stay still. Because you know when it's you and when it's not you. At least I know. Did they put your body in here? Crust is for yes and open for no. With all your energy into it. This should be like one of the easiest ways to communicate. Okay. Yes. Is that uh Little girl spirit here. Oh. Yes. Who is this little girl? It's said to be seen here around this area. Um, that's the one I was asking to make your presence known. That little girl spirit is here with us right now. You make some kind of noise. Oh my god, that looks like was touching my leg. Hmm. Something crawling on me. Nope. Oh. I didn't even touch you either. That little girl, did you just touch my leg? It's okay if you did. I'm not mad. Just want to know. I feel like it was a bug or something. Because <laughs> it was like on this side. Mm -hmm. Not like here. Yeah. Why are you still hanging around here? Can you uh, answer on that device right there? Yeah. With the red light, can you tell? Tell us anything you want. Something that keeps like falling. Mm -hmm. In the crypt of Washo Club. Can you please speak in this device in my left hand? It's on the uh, chair in front of me. If the little girl spirit is here, can you please say something into that device on the chair? What's your name? If the little girl spirit is here, can you please say something into that device on the chair? Is that something? Yeah, that sounds like something. If the little girl spirit is here, can you please say something into that device on the chair? Say no. Yeah. Here's the thing, the speakers on this suck, so when we have it on actual like, headphones or something. Um, yeah. Oh wait, I do have headphones. I forgot oh yeah. If the little girl is here, or anybody, we're just here to talk. We don't want to disrespect you in any way or or harm you in any way. We're just 
want to talk to people who have crossed over basically or not here in physical life anymore give you a chance to talk and tell your story I could do live EVP sessions with this too so I hear everything mm. it's pretty light it's probably one of those it's pretty light hmm I don't know. It's probably one of those signs. It could be. It's pretty light. Like breathing out or something. Yeah. If the little girl spirit is here, can you please say something into that device on the chair? If the little girl spirit is here, can you please say something into that device on the chair? your chance to talk to me literally like normal right now I'm like if you can speak and come through the device right there clear as day we could have a normal conversation why is there a click sound on the record it's not like being touched it's weird that little girl if you're still here how old are you? Would you be more comfortable talking to us if we introduced ourselves? <laughs> My name is Helena. My name is Matt. And we're here just to talk with you. If you have anything you want to say, does it disturb you we're here talking to you? Are you tired of people trying to talk to you? Yeah, a lot of people come here and try to communicate. That must get very uh, annoying. I thought I saw like a flash of light over there. Hmm. Can you uh, make a, can you throw a piece of brick again? something that spoke over me. Really? Like it stopped me from keep talking. So the top, like I was trying to speak and oh. talking to you and I heard something over my voice. I'm sitting here on the voice. Oh, that sounds like a man talking at the like, same time. Yeah, like literally over my voice. It says something. That's clearly a word. It's weird. Oh my gosh. Cause yeah, that wasn't you. Cause you were talking and there was another voice 
on top of your voice. Yeah, and, that's, and I was listening to it live, so I heard it like while I was talking. <laughs> I was like, what? That is weird. I don't know either. Didn't hear it on the voice. What was that noise? That was your phone, but no, before that. Moisture. Moisture. Extra protect. <laughs> 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 Walkie So we're about to send her up all by herself. This is her idea. She wants to do what I like to do. We're handcuffing her upstairs alone. She's gonna get freaked out. I know it. She was already, already freaking scared. out. And we didn't do any of that. <laughs> she was with me and she's getting freaked out. We have walkies, but I don't know how much charge these have. So I'm giving her two <laughs> just in case. So she's extra protected. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> like, yeah, we're joking around and stuff, but like, I'm scared. I'm not sure if I can do it. Ah, Lord help me. I need to pray. Okay, babe. <gasps> no. Well, We're gonna be there together first, but then I'm gonna do it on one challenge, so. Oh god. Boyfriend is a dork. Boyfriend? Oh, fiance. Yep. <laughs> He's marrying me. <laughs> I have to take this ring off. <laughs> so you're in hell. <laughs> I'm kidding. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Hello, we're back. What was that? That was like a tap. We're gonna find a place to handcuff you, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> of course, you choose the scariest room. Like up. Let's go upstairs, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> it's cool. It's so see. fucking heavy in here. Ooh, look at this creepy doll. Oh god, no. <laughs> Let's put this right next to you, babe. <laughs> wow, I love her eyes, though. Those eyes. No. Damn. I found the place, babe. Oh. Can't come through here. Oh my god. You get a chair. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Think of the bright side, you know? Yeah. I get a chair. Yep, that's all that matters. Love you. Mm. <laughs> I love you. This was my idea. I don't know why I'm mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you mad at me, huh? Mm. I'm, the said I, I'm the one that said I didn't want her to do this. Yeah. Because I care about her too much. Don't like her when she's scared. You already get night terrors, babe. I know. It's gonna get worse. Okay, spirits. Just letting so you know, she's gonna be here by herself. And, um... You guys should come hang out with her. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yes. Be great. Please be friendly. I'm very nice person. She is a very nice person. I'm trying. <laughs> so take good care of her. You saying that could make things worse. <laughs> I know I said that, it will make it worse. <laughs> uh, babe. Anybody up here? Well, I don't know I haven't got any chills yet. Look at this, babe. Oh, well, that's just great. Hello. At least I have to start you with me when I'm doing the alone challenge, so I'm not completely alone, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to be completely alone, anyways, if you know what I mean. 
Okay, now I don't feel good. Bang. What? Bang. What? I'm scared. Man is shaking. I'm like, Ooh. oh yeah, we need to take Polaroids. What the fuck? Is that right? Looks like it. Oh my god. What the fuck? It's weird. Okay, babe. We'll see you at lunch session. No. Yep. Okay, just to recap what happened here and who is here. There is a negative spirit. Oh, of course there is. In this upstairs area. Plus, someone committed suicide in this area. Buy a gunshot to the head. <sighs> okay. Sit down, babe. What is this negative thing? Just people having uh, being scratched and stuff. I'm like terrified of the handcuffs, but I'm also excited because <laughs> handcuffs. <laughs> For no one, I mean. I think after this, I won't even More go handcuffs. near <laughs> handcuffs, babe. Mm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, put it here. Definitely not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. She's gonna put her left hand right here. Babe. It's your idea, babe. I'm gonna die. <sighs> Why am I doing this? Oh. <laughs> you have such small wrist. Small. And now you're like, oh, I lost the key. No, I lost the key. <laughs> oh, gosh. Night vision. She's now handcuffed. Really well. God dang it. Why am I doing this? I don't know, babe. Well, this is your idea, babe. <laughs> this is a weird angle, babe. Yeah, it's a weird angle for you. <laughs> Looks like I'm trying to get a crotch shot. Jesus. <laughs> Just legs. Ooh, I realized. Now it's recording without a viewfinder. <laughs> Starchy. Power on. Three. Okay. You got that one? Mm hmm. That's your working one. This one's gonna be your other one, your emergency one. So you know, that one's the one that you're gonna use. Check, check. Check, check. Check, 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 check. <laughs> How long I'm here? Till you can't do it anymore. That's not a thing, and we need to have a time. Fuck, we'll time it. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. <laughs> okay, 10 minutes from now. If you what don't hear downstairs? from me, then. 10 minutes, but it's when I hit get to the downstairs. Like, I, down into the area. Sorry. Will it hurt me? No. The thing. Okay. Mm, scratches <gasps> is the worst thing I've heard. Babe! That's literally the worst thing, babe. Scratches. <laughs> uh, okay. Ten minutes. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna talk. So it's not as scary. I'm just here. I don't want any harm to anybody. I just want to talk. I want to know a little bit about you. I have this little camera on the floor. If you want to talk to it, I'll be able to look back and hear from you. Um, I am from Finland. It's beating like really fast. I don't know if you're annoyed because there are so many people coming here all the time. I think that takes the fun out of whatever. A lot of people come here all the time. I feel like many people might be disrespectful towards you. 
or make fun of you and try to intimidate you. Sometimes those kind of people, it's funny to scare them. <laughs> I talk a lot when I'm nervous, I'm sorry. Can you knock three times if you're here? I just thought I heard like walking. <laughs> I don't want to cause, or how you say it in English. Any harm to you or any ill will. I don't know you. You know, you do things you do. I can't judge you for that, I guess. Sorry, I can't shut up. <laughs> been here before. This is actually my first time in Virginia City. I know you don't care. I'm sorry I keep telling about my life. And I think you're just like, what the hell is this bitch talking about, right? <laughs> Do you remember Matt? He's been here multiple times. I heard a lot of things about this place. I don't know if they're true. I keep like hearing things. <laughs> I wish I had um, the thing I can check my pulse, like how fast my like heart rate is. <laughs> Cause I think it's very fast. I heard a door. Matt going to the bathroom. It's so funny. He's like, he didn't want me to do this in the first place. I know I should be asking questions, but I also at the same time, I don't know what to ask or what I want to know exactly. In situations like this, I've been just talking about myself. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, I don't know if it's funny, but it's kind of lame. It's kind of like, I don't know. I think if I was a spirit, I would just be like, why are you talking about yourself? Stupid. What the hell was that? Hello? What the fuck? I don't know if it's mad. It is. Yeah. yeah? Okay, maybe it was him. This looks like there's someone standing right there. Was that 10 minutes already? Yeah, it's been already 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it was very scary. My heart was like beating super fast, but I, nothing like happened. You only were here for 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. I did go to the restroom downstairs. Yeah, I heard. I heard that. Oh, where's the key? That's the key. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you know what's funny? Hmm. Like I was talking basically nonstop because I was so nervous. I didn't want to like hear anything. <laughs> so I just kept talking so I don't want to hear. I just kept like blah 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 blah. <laughs> then I started laughing. I was like, I think you don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just keep talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take some powder.
Ooh, lost balance for a sec. Well, we're just sitting here in silence. Anybody here? Come out to play. <laughs> I feel like it's my eyes just playing tricks on me, but like it just looks like something's moving. Mm. But I don't really see anything. The hallways just freaks me the fuck up. Because it's like there could be anything, any every direction, you know, you're surrounded, so that makes it like you don't know where to look. There yeah. could be someone behind you. Someone like, you know. Mm. God, chill again. Jesus, why am I keeping you chills? Uh -huh. You're cold. You're never cold. You're always warm. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, you're cold. Maybe yeah, that's why I'm getting chills. <laughs> yeah. I'm just holding on starchy. <laughs> I'm like squeezing his mistress toy. <laughs> I really want to speak to like if Marga Debbie Constantine are still here. Those are the two I want to speak to the most because they were actually parallel investigators. Yeah, that would be amazing to talk to them. But Mark, not such a good person for what he did. What did he do? Killed Debbie. Really? Yeah, and his, uh, and Debbie's friend. Killed them both and killed himself. And then, uh, I think it was in LA. Now I got chills. <laughs> so, I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, because it didn't seem like that, like, it didn't seem like that was what would have happened with those two, but... That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. It makes you wonder. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't him doing it, you know? Yeah, because cause they came back here after that. And they had a moment with Debbie and Mark, or one of them. Every time you talk about them, Debbie, are you here? Debbie, I would love to speak to you. I know you don't know me, but I'm just a paranormal investigator like you when you were living. And we just want to understand what it's like out there and where you are. This is my fiance, Helena. My name's Matt. Can you please speak to us? It's so weird every time you talk about that. Can you throw something or make some kind of noise? Like a louder noise? Debbie Constantino, I'm trying to talk to you. This is one of your favorite places that you investigated at and you kept coming here all the time. You're the one I want to talk to because of what Mark, what Mark did was messed up and horrible. I really want to speak to Mark. I just want to speak to you. Show Club has a special place in my heart too. It's literally the reason why I'm an investigator today. Can you push over my camera?
whoever's here, if you're an intelligent entity, you can charge yourself up and talk to us at around 3 o'clock, 3.33, see if you can do something crazy. Okay. Always. Oh, fuck, I heard something in front of me. Ew. <laughs> I know. Like it was on your skin? Yeah, it was on my skin. Hmm. Interesting. Was it like a poke? It wasn't like a scratch? It felt like a prick. Sounded like something fell. looking at the video camera. <laughs> I'm using her shoulder. It's comfy. It's witching hour. Nah. 3.05. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> sound I just made. <laughs> Hi, spirits. <laughs> I should have done that during my alarm challenge. <laughs> Just make chicken noises. Let's see if anything happens. Mm. Uh, did you know that? <laughs> the hell was that? It sounded like dragging. Yeah, it sounded like a bucket being dragged. That was oddly specific, but it's not like a bucket. Well, we have a camera upstairs. It's catching everything, guys. It's investigating for us. <laughs> We go up there. Should we 
go up there. Maybe my chicken noises worked. They were like, what the fuck? <laughs> that was high. Oh god. You start making chicken noises during sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're like, what's going on? <laughs> chicken noise <laughs> intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> Starchy. Gone. <laughs> you know what? What? You know what? What? No. No. Can you bang upstairs, please? Can you bang upstairs, please? Still recording. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Oh, we're back up here. Wanna make a friend zone now? Anybody up here? Why did you take your life? How did he take his life? Shot himself. Okay. It's a clock sound now. Oh yeah. I can't hear the clock anymore. Are we hearing a residual clock thing? That is weird. Because I think it's, it was so clear you can hear it in camera. There's not even a clock. True. Where are those clocks? These typewriters. Painting on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh. That's weird. We should have heard a clock up here. Yeah, and it stopped and then it started again. Yeah, now, nothing. There's no clock paper. That is weird. I 
keep hearing like it from different sides. What did you do for a living? Were you a miner here? Digging for gold? Again, that someone is behind. There we go. Damn. <laughs> and then, I don't know what's up with those. Is there any spirits here? Do want to communicate? Robinson. Hmm. Is that your name? Impressive. Impressive. Do you mean this is impressive? You can talk to us through this? The ring is impressive. Okay. <laughs> What's the thing about my ring? Is it pretty? Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disaster. Disaster. Oh, that's funny. What's a disaster? Did a mine cave in on you? A collapsed mine? You want to lay down on the floor? No. You can trust us. Okay. No, I was thinking about going to that little room. Crypt. Yeah. Just sit there. See if we got anything. There are demons. <laughs> okay, sure. What do you mean there are demons? Here? I don't think there's demons here. I don't think there's negative spirits. Well, I'm going there to see if I get anything. Permission. Oh. Permission for what? Hmm. There are demons and permission. Bye. Bye, babe. Flash. Flash. What do you mean by flash? Should I take flash photo? Is that what you mean? Is there any spirit? Oh my god! Fucking hell! I don't know, something fell. Jesus, that was loud. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. I think it's just like something fell from there, but like it was loud. Like it was like big something it wasn't just like something small it was like i don't know i don't see i mean there's a lot of little pieces it could be it's probably just a brief one i don't know that fucking scared me oh my fucking god i don't remember the last time I was like, oh, that's bright. That really got me. <sighs> I'm sitting here all by myself. Recording. Oh, oh my god. See, yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm like literally on edge, man. Everything will like, make me like freak the fuck out. That spot. Are you throwing stuff? I'm gonna put it like that so I can see better. What's your name? 
Cyrus. Cyrus? Wow. Well, nice to meet you, Cyrus. My name is Helena. How old are you, Cyrus? Oh my god. I thought I heard something. How old are you, Cyrus? Oh my god. I thought I heard something. How the fucking know this is so fucking sketch. I'm like so sketched out. Like, I don't know. I don't remember the last time I was like freaking out this much. Share my story. Share your story? What do you want to tell me? You can talk directly to this thing with the lights if you want this camera or talk to that one right there the one on the chair I'm able to hear it right away with the one on the camera I'm able to hear afterwards and then pass the message with the camera I can actually capture your voice your real voice and your real words I'm like shaking what is your story? What do you want to be told? How did you pass away? If that's not too rude to ask. I understand if you do Curse. Don't. Curse. Do you mean you were cursed? How did you pass away? You don't have to answer that if you don't want. I'm just curious. That will help me understand a little better maybe. Hearing things above. I don't like that. Sun. Sun. Do you have a sun? Is that who you want to pass message on to? Is your sun still alive? Is your sun still alive? I hope I'm understanding you because I want to get your story and message correct. Keep the camera on. Yeah, I will keep the camera on. Why? Will you do something? Family. Family. You want to find your family? What is your message? I have a feeling you, have a, you want to talk to your family. I don't know who you are. Was your name Cyrus? This is great. This is great? Aw, I'm glad you like talking with me. I hope I'm not disturbing your peace by talking to you. I know many people come here and talk. It must be very tiring to talk to a lot of people. Um. Oh my god, babe. Yeah. I love it. Lights stopped working. Ew, it got dark. That scared me a little bit. Oh, I got it. It stopped working for a second. It's good. I'm good. Hello. You okay? It's tired. Tired? Yep. Aww. Edgar. Edgar. People keep running. People keep running? Oh. Do you mean people here? People here who come talk with you and then they run? When something happens, is that what you mean? I also get scared easily, but I want answers. So, so I got the name Edgar and Cyrus. Are those two separate people or is that your full name? So I got two names. Universe. Universe. What do you mean by universe? Oh my God, what the fuck was that? Something keeps falling. Spur. Oh. oh no. Is that how you passed? Burn? Or did something burn down your home or or something else? I started to feel very uncomfortable. I don't know why. 
Need trust. Need trust. Yeah. I need to. I understand that um, you need to trust me to open up and uh, I need to trust you too. In a sense, I don't know. I'm here to talk. I just want to know about history and give a voice to people who have already passed. If they have something to say. Forgive my sins. Oh, forgive my sins. You want forgiveness? Is there one final thing you want to say before I leave? I'm like really scared right now. I don't know why. Because I felt very good. I came here. Then the stuff started to happen. I was scared for a second. But Florence. Florence. Is that a name too? I don't know. I think it is. Florence or Edgar or Cyrus. And everyone else in here, I really hope you find peace and you're not stuck in here. I really hope you can move on to the light. Everyone deserves peace. You can always ask forgiveness from God. It's been nice talking with you. Well, I'm gonna go. Operation Save Stargy. We lost Stargy last night. We're going to uh, look for him. Stargy. Can't lose you. It could be basically any room we went to if it just fell from my pocket, you know? Come on, spirits, help us find Stargy. Where is my potato? A weird sentence. Where's my potato? Babe, come here. I found Starchy. You found him? Yep. <gasps> Baby! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh, are you scared, Starchy? That's the longest alone session of the oh. night. <laughs> you know, we were joking about that, um, you know, we we're gonna make Starchy haunted, haunted potato, so. It might have happened now. I'm George Roy Starchy. Operation Save Starchy was a success. Starchy is a bad boy. Starchy ran away. I didn't run away. You left me. I need help. I. <laughs> I am speechless. This is my cat, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, what are your thoughts on this investigation and the evidence we got? Is there any specific spirit you believe we contacted? Oh. He's part of my channel. This is nothing new. <laughs> Do you want to see more? Because there is so much that didn't make it to the video. So there is special content and unseen scenes from th this investigation. <laughs> So all that extra content will be available after this premiere for all my channel members. So this unseen footage includes static cam, also scenes that didn't make it to the video. There's also funny moments, bloopers, all this weird behind the scenes stuff where you gonna see a little bit what kind of people we are to hang out with. Maybe this is why I don't have friends. <laughs> Only 99 cents a month, you'll get access to all members-only content. There will be also members-only live streams and giveaways. And obviously, like you see, if you look at the premiere chat, you'll get this membership badge right next to your name. And you'll get also members-only emojis that I will be updating soon. There is Starchy, there is uh, Matt being kawaii, there is all kinds of fun stuff. More coming. <laughs> so if you want all this extra stuff, please consider becoming a member. By joining the membership, you support the channel and help me fund my future investigations. Thank you everyone who has joined our spooky little fam. I love you. And also thank you to everyone who have donated money through Super Chat and PayPal. All of the donations go towards future investigations and travel expenses. Also, one more thing before I leave. Are you a fan of true crime? Because I am. I am obsessed with true crime. I'm like... 
deep in to this true crime train. That sounds wrong. <laughs> I have a second channel where I talk about true crime cases and unsolved mysteries. So consider subscribing to that channel. More content coming soon. But that's all for tonight. Please comment down below what was your favorite part of the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh.